April 1945, mere hours after Harry Truman is sworn in as American president after the death of Franklin Roosevelt, he is led to a meeting with Secretary of War Henry Louis Stimson. Stimson tells the new president about the real purpose of the secret Manhattan Project, laying out exactly what the teams of the nation's top physicists and engineers have been working on for so long. Using electromagnetic separation, they have learned that a fast chain reaction can release an incredible amount of energy, harnessing the power of the atom. And they have turned that concept into a weapon of destructive power never before created in the history of mankind. From an outside view, the Second World War is wrapping up. Germany's done for, and Japan's surrender seems perhaps only a few months away. The US administration is strictly opposed to the autocratic Soviet system of state control and secret police, but they still may need Soviet help to bring the war against Japan to a quick conclusion. It has become a political poker game between the two power blocks, and each asset a card that is thrown onto the table, but now, with the atomic bomb becoming a reality, the US finds itself with an ace up its sleeve and a means to dictate terms to the post-war world. 